Okay, here's something I wanted to share that uh, I, I stumbled on, and I've been looking at these uh, these fake videos where they, they show something running with no input of energy, supposedly a free energy machine, and one of the ways um, they're doing it is they're using flywheels, and they're taking a flywheel, and they're, they're spinning up a flywheel, and the energy is actually stored in the flywheel. And I stumbled on this, so I thought I would do a video on it. Now, this is this uh, Smucker's jar lid, uh, steel jar lid, that I used in my um, AC motor experiments. And I've just got it set up here with a couple of air cork coils and a reed switch and an electrolytic capacitor that's a... Um, I think that's a 470 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor. That's not a super capacitor. And then a little tiny uh, solar panel out of a solar waving toy. And um, it runs very well. And I think one of the reasons it runs so well is um, there's not a lot of friction between the uh, brass nail that's underneath there and the steel rotor lid. But I stumbled on something that was kind of interesting. I was playing around with this the other day and I had it all disconnected and that thing kept running and running and running and running um, longer than my normal jar lid um, motors and it has to do with the mass, the, the weight of the flywheel and the fact that once you get a mass in motion it keeps wanting to go in motion until you slow it down somehow. It's a Newton's Law thing. And uh, so I started playing around with this, and this flywheel thing um, is a way to store energy. And you can store energy, of course, in a battery or a capacitor uh, in several ways, but storing energy in a flywheel is very interesting. I started doing some research on that, and uh, even NASA is involved in this storing of energy in a flywheel. And I'm going to be doing possibly uh, some more videos on... Uh, energy storage using a flywheel. I'm not exactly sure which way I'll go with this, but I stumbled on a video where they're even uh, looking at uh, storing the energy in uh, Formula One cars, um, hybrid Formula One cars using a uh, flywheel energy uh, storage. And it doesn't make the energy, it stores it. It stores it in the mass in motion. And uh, when I put this thing together today with this little tiny solar panel on a cloudy day that's the cloudy day out here this is just the uh, sunlight coming through the window i was rather impressed by the performance of this little motor with this uh, flywheel and there's a whole bunch of videos on youtube uh, concerning uh, energy storage using a flywheel and like i say all this is is this is just a Smucker's jar lid. The tape is for balance, and that's a brass, a brass uh, uh, nail. And then these air cork coils. Uh, there's a reed switch here that triggers on the the point where you want this to be pushed around. And then this is the energy gatherer, an an energy storage device to smooth out the pulses. But then the flywheel. And the flywheel is part of the equation that I want to start looking at in uh, seeing uh, how the uh, energy can be stored up in a flywheel and used as a way to uh, store energy. This thing here, if you don't get it going, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't run. Let me spin this up a little bit. There it goes. Now the flywheel is in effect. The flywheel is actually storing the energy between the pulses and smoothing everything out. And the trade-off is, is if you get too much weight on the flywheel, you're going to cause too much friction on your bearing. And then, of course, if it's in a, a vehicle of any kind, the weight's going to slow you down too. So somewhere there's a trade-off between the uh, mass in motion, the friction, and what you gain by trying to store the energy in the flywheel. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with uh, some folks to show that uh, what I'm studying right now is this um, this flywheel effect. And if I spin this thing up and I get it going, I don't need anything. 
And this is where I think a lot of the fake videos uh, are using just a flywheel. And the flywheel uh, makes it look like it's running on its own when really it's just stored kinetic energy in that mass in motion. Thanks for watching.